You may have seen my other review of my Bike Friday New World Tourist, where I go through a rather comprehensive uh, overview of my bike and how I have it spec. But since then, I've made a few changes. I've actually taken the time and spent the money to ship the bike back to Bike Friday to have some modifications um, that I should have done at the front end. So I will share with you the changes that I've made uh, that, I've, that work well for me, and you can use that if you're looking to either change your bike, make some upgrades, and or you're specking out a new bike. You can learn from my experience and hopefully not have to spend the extra amount of money that I did to get the changes. So with that said, I will uh, start showing you uh, the changes that I've made. You can notice that I've changed the handlebar. I was riding the Jones bar, the, the H bar, the loop bar. So this is the same dimensions as that, it just doesn't have the loop. And I changed it because I found that I didn't need the loop. Actually, the different accessories that I was putting on my handlebar, that thing just got in the way. And the different bags that I had that fit between the loop it really didn't give me any space, usable space, so I changed up to this one that does not have the loop, and uh, I also included this Roadrunner bag. This is the Middle Earth Jammer, and I found this is perfect for my use. If you're looking for a handlebar bag that's a little bit bigger than the norm, uh, this thing actually gets pretty big. So look into it. It's the Middle Earth Jammer, and they've got three different sizes. They've got the regular, they've got the jumbo, and the Middle Earth. This is the middle size. And it fits perfectly on these handlebars. If you've got smaller handlebars, this may not work for you. Maybe the smaller size if you still need a bigger bag. So uh, that's one of the changes that I've made from the other setup that I had. My original thoughts when I purchased this bike, I wanted rim brakes. And the reason for that was the simplicity uh, the ease of maintenance as needed. But the more I rode it, after a couple thousand miles, I came to realize that I really should have gotten disc brakes on it. Uh, discs are just, they're just better in a variety of different ways. If, if you haven't ridden with disc brakes, uh, you don't understand, I guess. Uh, and rim brakes do work fine, but I just found that uh, the discs work better. And since I had uh, some hubs, these are old Chris King hubs. These are probably from 2003 or so. I had these on a higher-end mountain bike that I was riding, but I just haven't been riding it. I, I find myself riding this bike Friday these days, so I decided I, I took the wheels apart on the old bike and I shipped the hubs up to Bike Friday and had them build me some wheels with these and of course upgraded. They changed out the fork. I believe that this is a llama fork uh, that accommodates the discs and they added these to my rear triangle and uh, I like it a lot better. I recently did a multi-day, multi-state tour and the discs, they, they really worked well. They stopped me as needed um, and I think the maintenance on these, these are the Avid mechanical discs. So the maintenance is, is pretty simple. I, it's a little more complicated obviously than rim brakes but I wouldn't say by much and they're, they're easy to use, easy to adjust. So. Uh, this was an upgrade that I made. As far as kickstand, I originally had just the kickstand that you can purchase through Bike Friday, and it worked, but um, when I had racks and, and weight and panniers on this thing, uh, I found that just wasn't adequate. The bike wouldn't really hold up. So these click stands, I've been using them now for uh, probably a couple of years, and they seem to work really well. I was using an original, the kickstand that I was, uh, the click stand that I was using, it, I would have it attach down here. It's shorter. It's one that's actually made for a different bike with, and the top tube length it was just enough that it would allow me to connect it up here and it works, but it was just, I found it just be a little bit sketchy and I was always concerned that it might come loose and fall. So I purchased this longer one, which of course adds a little bit of flexibility into that because it's just a longer tube, but it holds the bike up here by the seat. It's easy, it's easy to attach, easy to set up, and um, these days I'm not riding with racks loaded. I, I, the last tour I did, I actually just loaded everything into my Samsonite, and it worked very well for me, which I'll do a probably a different uh, review on that at a later time. So, but uh, these click stands, they work really good if you're thinking about getting one. And uh, as far as the, the brake uh, bungees that they send, 
the bungees that he sends are they're just a little bit small for the type of setup I have. I've got uh, larger um, grips, so I just purchased some uh, some other paracord. This is just a dynamic paracord. Just tie it into a knot. If I need it to be tighter, I tie it tighter. But uh, and when it's not working, I just um, leave it attached. I flip it up over the the thumb drives, and it, it works well for me. So that's that's how I do it. Uh, of course, you can take them off and just stuff them in your bag if that's what you choose also. I've come to realize how helpful having one of these uh, bar bags can be. I always looked at them as just another way to hold a water bottle, but it's really not the case. And uh, so for me, it's a nice place to stuff my, I can stuff my phone and still got plenty of room inside for other items. And uh, this particular bag has a side pouch. Of course, I've just got some AirPods stuffed in there now but uh, you can put a power bar in or whatever. And this particular bag is made by a company, Randy Joe Fabrications. I found them just during a regular search and I've, I've used a couple of different models and they all work fine. But this one I really like. It's not the lightest model. It's actually made of waxed canvas. Um, so it's, it's not ultra light, but it's durable and it, it just works really well. I used it recently on a multi-day tour I did and during which my concern was this one does not have um, any kind of um, hole in the bottom to allow water to run out. But during my trip I ran into a couple of downpours where this thing uh, was exposed to water. Now I knew the storm was coming, I was able to get my items out of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend leaving anything um, of any value inside of this, this bag when you're using it. But it, uh, it it got deluged upon and I was able to just, just empty it out and it was good as new. I mean, it dried up really quickly and I was able to uh, put the items back in. So if you're looking for a bar bag, like I said, unless you need to go ultra light, this, this one uh, it really works for me and it expands up, um, you know, as needed. It, of course, you can open the top up and, and this one-handed um, bungee is actually one-handed. It's effective. It works well, so... I'd, uh, I'd recommend this one. This Randy Joe bag truly is one-handed. Open and close. And I used this on my trip and it, it really was you can right along. It's truly as it says it is. Since the last video, I've changed the fenders. And here's the bike, uh, you can see I've got, in its current condition, the fender, the rear fender there, and, and what the Samsonite converted into a trailer. But those are the, the current fenders that I'm using. Now, I was originally using the Bike Friday uh, fenders that you can purchase through the company. But you can see, here's a picture of the Bike Friday fenders, and I modified them to, to have stays that uh, held them from flopping around. Because without the stays on the Bike Fridays 8, they really were flopping around quite a bit. But uh, you can see here the metal part, and that metal, the alloy, eventually through vibration, that thing just broke. It just failed. So after that, I upgraded to a different brand, these Planet Bike. They were aluminum alloy, and they had really decent stays, and they worked really well. But after I shipped the bike up to Bike Friday to have the modification for disc brakes, when the bike came back, those Planet Bikes, the stays, although I was able to modify them in a way that they, I could get them to work, it just wasn't going to be conducive to using the bike, taking it apart, and putting it back together for travel purpose. So I looked for something else, and I came across these, these SKS Velo 55s. And they attach to the bike similar to how the Bike Friday fenders attach, but I think that the metal part on these fenders is, I think it's steel versus alloy, aluminum alloy. And they're very stable. Unlike the Bike Fridays that would flop around in, in the wind, these actually are very stable even without stays. So the fenders themselves are just plastic. And the plastic slides on to the metal um, attachment that, that actually you attach to your bike. And they just slide on and off. And I didn't have any problem. They don't, like I said, they don't flop around. Uh, they stay on, they're, they're solid, and they come on and off easy for travel. And uh, although I don't see a lot of rain here in Arizona where I live, I recently did a trip in the Midwest, and here's a photo of me, uh, right? This is in uh, the streets in, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I, I saw not a lot of rain, but I had enough that proved that the fenders work. So uh, they do what they're supposed to do. I think if you live someplace that saw a lot of rain, you, you know, I, they may not work for you, but for me, and the rain that I've seen, 
they work. So it might be something you want to consider. So that concludes the video. Those are the major changes I've made to the bike since the last review I did. I uh, hope it's helpful if you're looking to either upgrade your bike and or uh, spec out a new, brand new uh, Bike Friday. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and or you can contact me at my email listed uh, right there on the top of the video screen. And I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.